the top profitable digital product ideas of 2021 and how to sell them okay so digital products can't be smelled can't be touched can't be felt can't be held and yet everybody seems to consume them in this video i'm going to tell you what the top digital products are and how you can sell them and start making a tremendous amount of money so at the end of this video you'll know exactly what to do and you won't have any more questions but if you do you can put them in the comments section below all right let's get started if you haven't subscribed yet please do so hit that subscribe button below don't forget to turn it from red to gray don't forget to ring the bell turn on all bell notifications so you're notified each and every time i do a new video or i go live now many entrepreneurs build their entire business on digital products they never have to ship anything out they never have to box anything up they never have to worry about it and the cool thing is they can make a digital product and they can just sell it over and over again to thousands and thousands or millions of people whatever they want first off what the heck is a digital product well a digital product is something you can sell somebody that is in a digital form it could be an ebook it could be an audio file it could be a pdf it could be videos anything like that and the cool thing about it is once you've made it you can just keep selling it over and over again like i just said now what are some of the advantages to digital products well low overhead i mean it doesn't really cost you anything to keep digital products around maybe a little bit of storage area um, the profit margins on them are great because each time you sell another one it really doesn't cost you a whole lot to sell that product you don't have much product cost in addition to that you have potential to automate so when somebody does buy your product you can automatically send them an email with a link to their particular product and you didn't have to do anything it automatically went to them in addition to that they're very flexible products right you can do downloads to help build your email list and once you do you can send them out emails and offer your other digital products or courses or ebooks or anything else you want so you can be very flexible about that and here's the cool thing we just went through 2020 and e-learning is the future i mean that's how people are wanting to learn now they want to learn online they don't mind paying for individual courses as a matter of fact a lot of people would rather pay a thousand dollars for your course than to spend 40 or fifty thousand dollars for a college degree that doesn't guarantee them anything now the downside to digital products is you're going to compete with free stuff out there there's a lot of free information out there so yours is going to have to be above the fold okay it's going to have to be better than the stuff that's already out there uh, in addition to that you're going to have to deal with piracy and i've dealt with that myself people will try to steal your courses and go out and sell them uh, what i found is people that try to steal my stuff they don't do it right first off but when they do steal it they don't really know how to market because they're stealing other people's products if they were good marketers um, they'd be able to market it and i've seen people try to steal my stuff and sell it for half the price and still can't sell it because they don't know how to market and there's some restrictions out there too uh, facebook and instagram they only will allow you to sell physical products so you can't sell digital products there but there's enough avenues to where that doesn't really matter now i would like to go over each and every one of these digital products um so that you know what they are and the first one is going to be educational products you educate people on something maybe it's cooking maybe it's sewing maybe it's gardening whatever it is maybe it's physical fitness but they're educational type products the next one is licenses to your digital assets whatever that digital asset may be if it's something they want to use that particular thing you can actually sell a membership to which brings me to my next one which is membership sites membership sites are awesome because they will pay a monthly fee to get access to the content that is within that particular membership i've got several myself and they're very profitable the next one is digital templates or tools where somebody pays you a fee and they can use your template maybe it's presets for a camera or maybe it's templates to build a particular type of sales page or whatever it is that you have this digital template people will actually pay for that you can also sell your art or music on large platforms um, photo platforms music platforms where people actually pay to access this particular platform and then you get a percentage of that fee and then the last thing of course is services uh, any type of services you want to sell online digital services you sell online you can also do that now let's take a look at some of these products we're going to start off with the educational ones first let me run over to my screen here and just kind of show you uh, this one here is holiday baking hacks ebook uh, pretty cool idea right here something like this you can include quizzes knowledge checks interactive activities with your courses to help break up the learning content uh, you can make your e-course more engaging uh, and consider learning and implementing and teaching on a model like addy uh, this particular one uh, how to cake it sells ebooks as an alternative to physical cookbooks if you consider yourself an expert in a particular topic digital products are a great way to package that information and sell it to others to learn all right let's check out some digital assets now we're going to go over here to city lights 
uh, city lights is uh, from stock photos to video footage from music to sound effects there's a global ecosystem of licensable digital assets uploaded by creatives for other creatives to use in their work pretty cool site the next one is membership sites let's run over to one of those membership sites i've got a bunch of my own but i want to show you other people's real quick instead of selling individual digital products you can bundle them together and lock them behind a paid subscription to generate recurring revenue now i've got one called uh the inner circle i've got another one called the e business toolbox and people pay for those memberships and they get access to training videos they get access to software all these things and they just pay a small monthly fee as opposed to having to buy each one of those individual courses the next one number four is digital templates and tools let's run over and take a look at one of those right now this is retro supply digital products can also come in the form of intangible tools that equip professionals to do tasks that either fall outside of their skill set or take up a lot of time. So you could sell digital solutions to the common pain points and needs of a specific audience. So to look at some of these uh, particular products, it may be a resume builder. Maybe somebody needs a resume. They're certainly not going to um, sit down and want to build a resume every time. But if you have a template, you could sell them. There's a digital product. You can also design mobile apps for businesses or individuals and sell those as digital products you can also sell graphic design templates for brochures and business cards and whatever somebody needs in their particular office that they need a template for maybe you have some digital marketing templates uh, to help entrepreneurs to market their products you could actually sell those too the next area number five is music or art let's check out one of those now uh, this one here is materia collective um they sell digital sheet music for video game soundtracks we're a oh boy that's specialized that if you're a musician or an artist chances are you've explored ways to monetize your talents or the audience you're building now while t-shirts and prints are always an option there are also plenty of possibilities in digital downloads the next one is services and this can be any kind of service but let's look at some fitness ones i'm gonna take you over to a website now this is street parking packages its personal training programs into digital products to sell as a monthly subscription services tend to pair well with digital products because services are essentially their opposite right with services your inventory is limited to the number of working hours you can actually accommodate however you can record these things and sell them over and over again so while you're trying to come up with these things you want to kind of brainstorm write down every kind of idea that you can think of that pops into your head something that interests you write down your talents write down any of your hobbies put all those things together and then actually go to Google and search for those things look for courses that are similar look for downloads that are similar look for memberships that are similar and then actually check them out and I would actually suggest buying those things and seeing what their sales funnel is seeing what type of emails they send you uh, and oftentimes you can go to somebody's sales page and start to fill out the information put your email address in there and not complete the checkout a little trick and they're gonna send you an email afterwards and say hey you didn't complete your checkout go back here and we'll give you a 10% discount or we'll give you this as a bonus or whatever and you can actually crack what they're doing and do something similar now don't copy what they're doing but you could do something similar it's a great way to figure out a course uh in a way somebody's marketing something without you having to spend all the time and all the effort and all the research to figure that particular thing out now a lot of people say well i don't want to spend money on somebody else's product i'd rather waste three or four days of my time trying to figure it out and maybe not figure it out well that doesn't make much sense does it go ahead and just find something that's working out there and do something similar and the last thing i would say is once you figure out what you want to do and something similar you want to do validate it and find out you know how many people are searching for that you can go to the google adwords tool and figure out how many searches are made on that particular subject or product or course uh, and see if there's a demand for it if there's a demand for it go for it and start doing it i hope this video helped you out I hope it gave you a lot of good ideas that you can move forward with. If you have any questions or comments, put it in the comment section below. I love to get your questions, love to get your comments. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't done so, so far, don't forget to ring the bell, turn on all bell notifications. So you're notified each and every time I upload a new video or I go live. Thank you so much for watching this video. And as a gift below, there's a course. It's a $97 course. You can get absolutely free. All you have to do is click and learn simple and easy but it won't be there for long so you need to grab it now thanks so much for watching give me a thumbs up if you would and i'll see you in the next video hey thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right here so you can be notified every time i do a new video
Also, click on one of those videos there. Keep watching on my channel.